Salut, salut, c'est encore moi. Welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So today's video is a set, a pick um, my nails on Instagram set. So yeah, we are going for a review, the Ecstasy um, Poly Gel Glow in the Dark. So yeah, the Zodiac Series 2. So um, I am just unboxing it and showing you what it comes with. I already showed it in the uh, previous video of the haul that you can find on the channel. But yeah, it comes with a pretty much everything. Some nail foams, dual foams, uh, some rhinestones, some butterflies, and top coat, you know, nail files, and brush, and and the poly gels those colors are very beautiful and they actually do glow in the dark you guys so don't hesitate so yeah right now i'm just you know pouring my own sleep solution aka alcohol isopropyl alcohol 70 percent so yeah i am just swatching the poly gel for you guys because i am trying to still keep being professional <laughs> professional i said anyways yeah so those are the colors i am just swatching for you they are very uh, smooth so yeah i was just showing you guys right now because ireland and ivory coast have the same colors for the you know flag it's just placed differently i was goes orange white and green and ireland is green white and orange so i love both flags anyways um i'm just showing you how it glows in the dark and today we're going with the green color so i'm explaining you in detail so brace yourself you guys let's start so the first step that i take because i didn't do my nail in a little bit is the prep not a really you know deep prep but just a little cleaning because my nail weren't so you know unprepped if i can say it like that they weren't bad so all I do is just push by my cuticles by putting some quick cuticle remover. <laughs> this word is so, you know, anyway, some cuticle remover so I can, you know, clean and, um, you know, take any residue, soften without hurting myself. Then after that, I just go ahead and find my natural nail bed, you know, to have it very clean and kind of limit, you know, the dem marked say limited the mark so it can be clean and pretty to see then afterwards I go ahead and you know just clean my nails with the alcohol again just in the bottle spray and then we are on to choosing the tips so a little tips on choosing the tips pun intended you guys <laughs> when you go for the lazy girl method you don't go usually as you know when you pick up your tips and just go with the right size you gotta go oversized like i already explained before like i'm showing you you gotta you know when you size your finger with the net in the nail you gotta go over so when you put the product in the nail and you're ready to apply it's not too squeezing and then squish the product out of the nail tip so yeah that's how you go for the lazy girl method to have something really smooth and clean so all i'm doing is prepping my nail to start applying the product so i put the dehydrator first but that was off camera then i went ahead and i put a nail strengthener so i can be able to pop the nail easily all i do afterwards is just take my nail tip and put some blood or you know a bead of acry uh, acrylic you guys poly gel i was using the uh the nude or oh, brown poly gel from Morovan because i couldn't have nothing from uh sxc so i just went ahead and used a Morovan because i needed a new base and you know i just build like you know kind of build the nail bed that would be going for the base of the french tips because i'm of course doing some french tips so that's what i'm doing 
Uh, for this first nail, you will be seeing that I didn't cure before putting the second um, color. It wasn't a mistake. I just did that to show you that you could do this both ways. But it's better when you apply your poly gel in the nail um, tip, building your um, you know your laser the laser method way, building your tip. It's better when you cure you know the first layer of poly gel so the demarcation stays clean you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm doing i am first going with the base coat you know so the nail can adhere then i'll be still using the beetle gel glue nail tip glue so poly gel glue but it's a nail tip glue you know that you use for the apron tip. but i just wanted to try to see how long you will hold and it did hold it pretty good you guys so that's how I do. I put the nail glue on and then I install the nail on my, uh, you know, nail bed. Make sure everything is clean. I went over with this nail, you guys. I put too much and then it was spilling out on the top. So I had to clean. Well, I learned my lesson with the, the rest of the nails. I didn't do the same mistake, but you can see. Took some of the poly gel out, but that's cool. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. Then once I like how it look, I keep going with the rest, you know. Uh, the first one was just, you know, um, a regular French tip and the rest was uh, some kind of abstract, if I can say like that, you know, building the nail bed with a limit color blocking kind of uh, situation going. Then I apply for the green one. It's not really complicated what I'm doing. I apply the first color, which is the nude brown color. I build a nail bed and separate. Then I cure it for 30 seconds. Mainly the part where I want the limit, the demarcation to be. You know, so when I apply the green color poly gel, it doesn't blend together. And it says, you know, it stays really smooth and then you know pretty so that's all i do i'm gonna let you watch but yeah once again that's how i do i apply and build the nail with the first color cure it for 30 seconds in my flash you know cure lamp or if, if you don't have the big lamp it's cool then you apply the second poly gel and then the nail is good to go then how you adhere on your fingers is you could just use the base coat as a you know as a uh, as a glue but right now i am using the beetle nail glue i just wanted to try and tell you how it works and it works pretty good the nail just came off early i mean i took it that <laughs> took them off early because i put the nail strengthener and that's how i pop them off so i can you know make some more nails videos for you guys so i'm gonna let you watch that you know how i'm doing it and i'll be right back to explain to you the rest of the nail jumping in here you guys how I do the uh, V shaped for the French tip in this one is not really complicated I do the same method that I did for the rest it's just that I build I start building up the V shape first make sure it's long and you know 
in shape pretty nicely before I actually focus on building the nail bed part so that's all I'm doing then afterwards I'm just doing the same but do not forget you have to flash cure in between so the colors can stay separated you know in very nice demarked so you can have a very nice fresh so yeah I'm gonna let you finish watching After all, I just, you know, flash cure them and cure them in the big limb for like 90 to 3 minutes because I had to cure both sides, you guys. I go ahead and clean the uh, sticky layer from the back before I start any filing. Otherwise, it would be a big mess, you guys. So make sure you spray some alcohol on your lint free wipe and then take the sticky layer off the back of the nail because you used some base coat in the poly jelly step is pretty sticky so make sure you don't forget this step before going to the next step which is filing so that's all I'm doing the filing part I'm just using my washable uh, nail file from SXA and you know just rubbing the top of my nail tips because you got to take the plastic part that you know when you buy a stick out and all that so that's all i did then i am right now seasoning my oh uh, my nail my sanding nail i don't know how to explain this uh, <laughs> seasoning i just take my nail file and you know like buff the sides of the um the sanding band so i don't hurt myself when i you know um file around my cuticle you see how it don't hurt me and all that it, it, it's pretty cool you know how somebody somebody showed it to me on facebook and i was like let me try it and it worked pretty good so i'm like let me share with the world <laughs> anyways that's all i do then i go ahead and you know clean the cuticle area and all those parts i messed up and yeah that's what we're doing to be ready to apply some gemstone don't forget you always buff off the shine of the nails so you can adhere anything afterwards otherwise you know it's just make it look prettier and cleaner Afterwards, I went ahead and shampoo my hair if I can say it like that you guys I scrub take all the gems away because the alcohol doesn't do it by itself I'm ready to start applying the stickers decals and I'm using this um this tweezer is very sharp using some rhinestones I'm showing you how I built my own rhinestone box you guys 
and I love it because I can put whatever I want in that box very very good so yeah that's all I'm doing and while it was St. Patrick I did it on Tuesday so yeah that's all I did I am sticking on some St. Patrick's Day stickers to be in the spirit and yeah I'm gonna let you watch that Then afterwards, when we were ready to, you know, finish, be done and accomplished, I went ahead and decided to bling out my uh, cuticle area because it was a little bit, you know, bland, if I can say it like that. So I went ahead and applied some beetle nail glue around my cuticle area and, you know, bling it out with some rhinestones here and there. This is the final result, you guys, before the top coat. Do not forget, I didn't top, it, top coat it yet, so that's what I'm doing. Going on and, you know, put the shine on it, if I can say it like that, and apply the top coat. Top coating the back of your nails is not necessary you guys but it's just a clean way for me not to get anything stuck on the back because poly gel can be sticky so yeah I will be curing both top of my nails and underneath do not forget if you put the top coat over there so yeah after curing for like 90 seconds this is the final result and we'll go ahead and put some cuticle oils you guys you know I love that part <laughs> you know I love it anyways this is the final result y'all and yeah i really love it and i love the feedback you guys had over this set i really appreciate y'all i really love y'all i appreciate the support and the growing subscribers we'll be having on this channel but yeah oh i forgot one little part look at how cool isn't that cool anyways guys it's all for today and i love you guys appreciate you tremendously see you in the next video i love you bye bye